The line of fastest flow is called the Thalweg, and it swings from the outside of one bend to another. On the straighter sections in between, there are shallow, fast-flowing riffles. The physics of flow patterns is extremely complicated, but the combination of shallow riffles and deeper pools on the outside of bends causes water to follow a corkscrew motion, or helical flow. It means whenever there's surplus energy, the outside of the bends get eroded, and as the flow slows, the eroded material gets deposited on the inside of a bend further downstream. The result is that meanders are continually changing. In this example from the River Severn near Welshpool, you can see where the river used to flow. The separate horseshoe shape is called an oxbow lake. It was created when the neck of the old meander became so narrow the river broke through, forming a new, straighter channel. The same thing could be about to happen a few hundred metres downstream, probably during a major flood. Look at the middle course of almost any river from above and you'll see its history written into the valley floor. But most of the features in the middle and lower sections of a river are created when energy levels drop, causing the river to deposit its load.